Hi, I'm Dan. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the CAMSYS 2Universe DMX interface. So this little box gives you two universes of DMX output from the Magic Cube PC software, and it also will unlock the software from demo mode. So you get some more advanced features such as full screen execute window or use of timecode. So first thing I'm going to do is install the driver with a Windows PC. So I'm going to connect it up with the supplied USB cable, like so. And then on my PC, I'm going to search for device manager and open that up. And then you should see it appears under universal serial bus controllers here. So I open that menu there. Here we can see CAMSYS USB DMX. If I right click on this and go update driver, browse my computer for drivers. Let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Have disk and browse. We now want to go to this PC, C drive, program files x86, CAMSYS Limited, MagicQ PC, MagicQ Wing Drivers, and FTDI. And in here we'll find the file CAMSYS. That's the driver file. I'm going to open that up. We'll click OK, Next, and it's successfully installed that driver. So I'm going to close that and close Device Manager, and now open up the Magic QPC software. So I'm going to continue last show. And the first thing you'll notice is if we didn't have this connected, we'd find that next to Magic QPC here it would say Demo Mode. So we know this is connected correctly and it's removed Magic QPC from Demo Mode, so you've got all of those features unlocked. So to set this up within Magic Q, first of all, you need to go to Setup, View Settings, and then to the Ports tab. And if you're on a Windows PC, you need to make sure Magic Q Wings and Interfaces is set to Yes Auto DMX. If I'm on a Mac, however, I need to set this to FTDI plus VCP Auto DMX. And there's no additional driver setup necessary on a Mac, you only need to set this option here. So I'm going to leave this on Yes Auto DMX. And then we just need to configure our DMX outputs. So I'm going to go to View DMX IO. And I've set these up already. I'm using Universe 1 and 2. I've set the status to Enabled. And I've set the out type to MQ Dual DMX. And you can see the out uni is set to Mod 1 Port 1 and Mod 1 Port 2. So we've got Port 1 coming from Universe 1 in Magic Q. And Universe 2 is coming out of port 2 on our 2Universe interface. So now if I connect this up to my fixture that I've got here, like so, I've got a pre-recorded queue here. I'm just going to play that back. And you can see my fixtures come on. I've set that all up correctly. This fixture's already patched. I've pre-recorded that queue just to show you that this is working like so.